so what is, what shifted here about the uh, parents' experience of authority and their ability to exert authority within their families? Well, since about the uh, early to mid '90s, when we started to chronicle this in the Networker, there's been a shift, a demographic shift. Parents now are basically post-boomer parents, mm. and by being post-boomer parents. The bottom line is that they don't really buy and believe in the notion of authority the way we were taught uh, to think that parents should have it. They don't. They don't. They don't buy it. They don't believe it. So when you when you walk, walk into a therapy room and you try to get a parent to establish and create more authority with their child, you're you basically have an audience that doesn't believe in it in their soul in their gut. Yeah. And so that part of the therapeutic process is to get parents to understand that this is actually something that is necessary in families. They know they should or they know they might. It, they, they, they remember it from when they grew up. Like I ask a lot of, I ask a lot of um, parents, can you imagine what would have happened to you? If you had said one thing to your parents the way your right. kids talk to you every single night, what would have happened? <laughs> then I also right. ask, is there anyone from social service in the room? So be careful what you say, because right. all of them say, no, absolutely not. So right. part of the thing that I, that I think is important for us as therapists to grasp is that we need to be able to get parents to buy in to the notion of authority and to make it fit to a post-boomer parents and a post-boomer world where it's become much more complicated. 